Hey everybody, I'm your show. Welcome back to some more Super Mario 64 DS. In this part, I'm going to go and challenge Bowser on a Bowser level. Now, not only do you need 12 Power Stars to enter through this door, but you also have to be Mario. But after you unlock the door with Mario, you can enter with any of the other characters in the game, like Yoshi. But, I see it as pointless, and I'm going to go rescue Peach and stuff as Mario. Anyway, yes, yes, level was a trap. Anyway, let's move right in. If you hit this power box and you get the power flower, you'll turn into balloon, Mario! And by hitting the B button or the jump button, you'll hover up and down throughout the air. And there are red coins in this level that I would like to get so I can get a power star. There's one red coin over here. No, you don't need to be balloon Mario to get it, but in the DS version, I just see it as an easier way of obtaining it. Uh, there is another red coin right over here if you hit the switch here there will be a platform that will allow you to get that red coin i got and there will be a platform that will allow you to get this red coin that i'm about to get okay don't want to get hit by the fire okay now there is a little shortcut you can take by triple jumping your way up here but i apparently can't do it so i'll just uh go around whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. careful there physics are a little different in this game than they are in the 64 version Okay, uh, continuing on, this is not a difficult level, it just looks difficult, but it's actually really easy. There's a red coin right here. Um, I mean, there's some sp uh, parts where the road or the path is rather thin, but you just gotta be steady for those parts. Anyway, I have four red coins right now, there's a fifth one right here, just play a little game of patience to obtain it. There you go, red coin number five, three more to go. Okay, um... Your sixth red coin, or whatever order you're getting them in, your next red coin is across this platform over here, very thin platform. Um, there you go, there's red coin number six, and then make your way back slowly, slowly but surely. Okay, now the next two red coins are kind of close to each other. One is on this higher route up here. If you go this way, oh, that is my bad, let me try that again. Okay, so... Ah, there you go. There's seventh red coin, and then the last red coin is kind of on this lower path over here. Uh, if you walk slowly, you will eventually get a red coin. There you go, that's all eight, and the power star will appear up there. Also, if you saw for a split second, there is a yellow switch shaped like a star, similar to the one I saw in Womp's Fortress. There is a switch star, power star here that I will also have to get. Each of these Bowser levels has two Power Stars for you to obtain. So, uh, one being the Red Coin Mission, which you just got, Power Star obtained. The other being a Switch Star, which I'll get in a second. And you bet I want to say, what kind of question is that? Okay. Now I'm going to wait for the stairs to go back to normal. Wait for the Switch thing to run out so the stairs become a slide again. Okay. And now let's step on this Power Switch Star. There you go, Power Star has appeared. And slide down and whoop! Oops, okay, well... And then, long jump! Power Star obtained! There you go, I'm at 34 Power Stars. Now I just gotta defeat Bowser! And to get to Bowser, just go back to the green wart pipe that's at the end of every Bowser stage. Not too difficile. That's no difficile. Well, I mean, I guess it could prove to be difficult in some cases. Anyway, make your way back up the stairs. I don't know why I keep grabbing onto the ledges, but whatever. And here we go! What's up, Bowser? Ooh, you actually look like Bowser in this game. Tough luck looks like Princess Peach is in here. <laughs> and he tells you how to hurt him. You gotta swing him around by grabbing onto his tail. And then throw him at one of these mines. And for some reason my controls aren't working. Okay, I'll use the touch screen. Here we go. Alright, and oh, whoops. I did not mean to slow down. Okay, let me try that again. Let's get him to this mine here, right to the left. To the left, not right to the left, just to the left. Okay. Uh, one more toss should do this. I'm normally not this slow at defeating Bowser fights, especially the first one, but... Are you kidding? Okay, hang on. Also, be sure to not throw him off the stage, because then he'll just jump back on, and... It's a waste of time. There you go! And Bowser's gonna go flying in. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. And he'll say some words. And he'll 
magically teleport away. And poof, a key! Uh, castle key obtained, I think? I mean, it's definitely a castle key, but I don't know what I'm supposed to say about that. Anywho! There you go! Now, this castle key will help us unlock the lower part of this castle, which I will head to right now. Except I'll save the levels of the castle for the next part. So you can practically just end the video right now. But, uh, yeah. Also, on the way down, you'll see the boo to the left. There is a level over there that I can do. But I'm going to have to hold off on that until sometime later in this walkthrough. I don't exactly know how much later, but later. Anyway, that about wraps up this part of Super Mario 64 DS. I'd like to thank you all for watching. In the next part, I'll explore this under the castle part. See you all next time. Bye-bye.